house. Sorry. Who else is in the house, man? My two children and my husband. Where's your husband at? Calm down. Calm down. 23 minutes, that's how long Florida Department of Law Enforcement agents say it took former Florida Department of Health data scientist Rebecca Jones to answer the door during a raid at her home on Monday. Good evening, I'm Ava Van Valen. And I'm Channing Frampton. Jones says when officers came knocking, she knew she had her to start recording, saying that she thought she was going to be arrested. ABC 27's Jada Williams talked with Jones today. Jada, she doesn't believe this was just about her. Well, Channing Jones says that she's been waiting for something like Monday's raid to happen ever since she lost her job with the state over the summer. I have been waiting six months for the governor to show up at my front door to arrest me. Former Florida Department of Health data scientist Rebecca Jones. So I woke up to banging on my front door. I um, tried to find some pants. Um, I think I ended up actually wearing my husband's sweatpants because they're huge on me. Outside. Describing the moments agents with Florida Department of Law Enforcement showed up at her home in Tallahassee Monday morning. A statement from the agency says FDLE began an investigation November 10, 2020, after receiving a complaint from the Department of Health regarding unauthorized access to a Department of Health messaging system, which is part of an emergency alert system to be used for emergencies only. A search affidavit says officers believe someone used Jones's IP address in the system to send a group text to more than 1,700 people, saying it's time to speak up before another 17,000 people are dead. You know this is wrong. You don't have to be a part of this. Be a hero. Jones was fired back in May after she says she refused to manipulate state COVID-19 data. She says she had nothing to do with the message and says the raid at her home was part of a bigger plan. I, I think coming here, shutting me down and my project down, and getting information about all the people who have spoken to me from inside the state was two birds with one stone for the governor. No matter the reasoning, Jones says her work will go on. No amount of intimidation is ever going to stop me from making sure that the people of the state have the information that they need to make informed decisions and to so, Jada, what is the governor saying tonight in response to the claims that he's behind all of this? Channing, we did reach out to the governor after Jones, uh, Jones posted that video on Twitter. Now, here is what a spokesperson for the governor had to say to us. That spokesperson said the governor was not aware of any FDLE investigation into Rebecca Jones and only found out about the search warrant executed at her home when the public did after Jones tweeted video of the morning raid. Now, Jones is also a mother of two, and those children were at home when that raid happened tonight at 6. We'll talk more about how she says it's all impacting her children. Reporting live, Jada Williams. A all right, thank you, Jada. And as for what was happening during those 23 minutes before Jones opened the door, FDLE says there was no response to their attempts to make contact at the door. However, they say they could see movement through the windows and the doors. At one point, FDLE says Jones was called seven times and at one point hung up on a supervisor. You can read more about the raid along with have a look at the search warrants with this story at WTXL.TV.